नमस्कार लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर नवीन कश्यप प्रोफेसर इन साइकोलॉजी विद द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड सोशल साइंसेस इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी गुवाहाटी आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग टू यू अ न्यू कोर्स व्हिच इज एन अप्लाइड कोर्स इन द साइकोलॉजी डोमेन बिफोर आई इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू what this course will do and what all sections we will cover in this course please focus on the three items which i have in this slide look at the first item do you see something inherently wrong if you focus on the first item you see a pathway is designed there are two bicycle paths but as you see the one on this side you can ride a bicycle but on the other one which goes from the bottom to the top from where i am sitting riding a bicycle in this path is not possible simply for the reason that if you follow this arrow these sections which have been put will not let you ride a bicycle these are situations that you see around yourself look at the second diagram there are two knobs first let's look at the first knob the knob is at the center and it says minimum and maximum which side should i move the knob so that it enhances in a more logical way from minimum to maximum because the knob can move both ways if you look at the one which is at the bottom the same knob seems to operate two different equipments so which should be the minimum for which equipment and whether the knob is bidirectional movement that is not explained the third one is my favorite and this is something which i saw somewhere in europe and this is a traffic sign which says that no turn on and then there is a red light and it says when pedestrians are present although the message was supposed to say that do not turn when the red light is on but it means something entirely different you have had these experiences where you have seen this kind of messages and system designs which are not intuitive at all and which makes you start thinking as to what action should be done any design or equipment should be made in such a way that it should be intuitive it should use your knowledge of the world and should not make you start thinking about its solution in your head donald norman a champion in ergonomics and engineering psychology says that this is the difference between knowledge in the head and knowledge in the world and what he believes is that systems around us and equipments around us should have more knowledge in the world kind of information presentation this course that i'm introducing will cover these basics it will tell you how system should be designed what is the way in which an operator is taxed the least so that he can interact with systems and achieve his goal what are those principles of human cognitions which one should follow while designing a system and a system interface often it is seen that systems are ill designed and because of this the operator of a system has to spend 
a lot of his mental energy in figuring out how to do an action. The course will explain to you how to get rid of this possibility and this situation. It will tell you how to understand the limitations and capabilities of humans and based on these limitations and capabilities, how to design systems. If you understand what a human can do, you can design systems which are so intuitive that the humans will not be taxed at all in solving problems and in interacting with these systems. This is just an overview of what this course will hold. The course is 8 week duration and within this 8 week, I will take you in a journey from introducing what are human engineering factors and human engineering and also introduce the field of engineering psychology to move into the more depths of engineering psychology and ending the course by focusing on what is human error and what should be done to control error. I welcome you all to join this course and experience this entertaining journey in understanding how most system designers create equipments and systems which fail to understand the humans and because of which a number of accidents happen. By going through this course, you will have a much better understanding of what humans are capable of and what systems are capable of. And with this knowledge, if you yourself go into designing systems or understanding systems, you will have a much better time in designing those systems which are intuitive, which are high performance related and better to understand. This course is also meant for those people who wish to understand why their favorite equipments do not work the way they want to and what can be done to make these equipments work. So again, I welcome you all to this wonderful journey in understanding engineering psychology. Thank you and goodbye.